Welcome to the Basic Street Razor Honing Guide, Episode 1. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Friday special, Basic Straight Razor Honing Guide, Lap Your Honing Stones. Let's get to it. The 1,000, and then we're going to work our way to the 3,000 stone. All right. So what we're going to do, though, first off, is we're going to mark them like that. And then that way, we'll know when we're done. All right. So here we go. Alright, got a little dish in there. Get that water set the way I want it. A little fast right now. Okay, getting there. Here we go, almost. All right. The 1,000 stone is done. Now, let's work on the 3,000 side. That water is changing on me. Okay. So we're almost there. Now these stones have been soaking for three to five minutes and they're going back in the water. Alright, so now the 3000 side is done as well. Alright, so now we're going to put that back in the water. Next, I'm going to get my 12,000 stone. That was top on the list at this point. And then we'll work our way down to some other stones. There we go. All right. Now, these Shafton stones are ceramic stones, and they do not have to be soaked. So I have not been soaking them. All 
right. Now we're going to hit that without it being under the water at all. That's going to build a slurry here. Now we're going to put it back under the water. There we go. Check that out. Nice. We're getting there. Now again, we're going to do it outside of the water. So we're going to build up a nice slurry. Put it back under the water. Almost. Look at that. Just got a little bit here. So, we'll work on it one more time. There we go. Okay. 12,000 stone is done. Nice. Now that one doesn't have to soak. We're going to put it over there. Next, we're going to work on my shafting. And this is the 8,000 stone. And again, it's ceramic. So, we'll just go ahead and do exactly the same thing. This is this stone should be pretty well set, but let's find out. Okay. Yeah, so it does need a little work. We're going to do it outside of the water. Let's build a slurry. Okay, we're getting there. Getting there. Okay, almost. Just got a little bit more to go. Getting there. Sorry about that, got called away. Let's work on this a little more. All right. Now, since this stone is new, Let's go ahead and hit it with the diamond plate.
There we go. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Now. There we go. That one is all clean and straight. Now we got the 8,000 done. All right. Next up. This is the one that I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Check that out. This is my Imperia La Rosa. This is a 12 to uh, 15,000 stone. Imperia La Rosa. And now what we need to do, according to Dr. Matt, which is somebody I follow and believe in, He's a good guy and has always done well by me. He is the one that turned me on to this stone, this natural stone. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and lap it because it's brand new. And then we'll go ahead and go from there. going to hit it with this one and then we're going to hit it with the diamond stuff now the side that you work on on this side on this stone is the smooth side okay there's going to be a rough side and also it has stamps all right and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to leave all the stamps anyway and the smooth side is the side that we're actually going to use and work. And in Dr. Matt's research and his video, which I'll link in the description for you, he'll show uh, slides and everything as far as how this stone appears in the microscope and now he is claiming that this stone is probably closer to 20,000 grit stone but being a natural stone there is no telling but looking at his slides it definitely resembles like a 20,000 grit pattern all right and now his advice was to lap this stone all right, which it looks like we are in pretty good shape with that. And then what we do, it came with this 12 to 15 thousand slurry stone. Now, according to him, you don't actually use it for a slurry. So what you do is you just smooth out any scratches from the lapping so that's what we're going to do and this stone is really nice Nice and flat, beautiful. Check that out. And I think we're just about there. Now this stone came really pretty flat, so that's good. Mm 
All right, I'm going to say that is good. I think we're in business with this one. All right, and this is the Imperia La Roca. And this is the premium stone as well. Hey, hopefully you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. Now remember, I do shave videos Wednesdays and Sundays. And you can click right here to see Episode 2, Straight Razor Blade Geometry. You can click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.